Hello everyone, and welcome to the Miller College of Business. My name is Ali Bondurant, and I am currently in my junior year studying as a marketing major, minoring in Spanish and sociology. Right now, I'm standing in front of the Whitinger Business Building. Let's go check it out. Hi everyone, my name is Colby Liu, and I am a student here at Ball State University studying finance. I also have minors in financial planning and economics, and am a member of the Miller Business Honors Program. Today, I'll be taking you on a tour of the first floor of the Miller College of Business. The Miller College of Business was established in 1965 and is named after the late Wallace Miller Jr. The programs at Miller College have been accredited by AACSB International since 1978, ranking us as one of the best business schools in the world. Located near the main entrance of the college is the Dean's Office in Room 100. Here you can find the Brian Dean of the Miller College along with our Associate Deans and other college support staff. Right down the hall from the Dean's office is the Hall of Fame conference room located in room 145. The glass wall allows you to see whatever might be going on inside, such as important meetings of faculty committees, staff meetings, advisory boards, and much more. The finance lab is also known as the fishbowl around here for how easy it is to see everything going on inside. Our students manage a real investment portfolio worth more than $1.4 million. The portfolio's holdings can be viewed in real time by looking at the stock ticker near the ceiling. The Office of Undergrad Programs, also known as Student Services, is the college's one-stop shop for issues related to or outside of classes. They serve as the college liaison to all campus student affairs, including admissions, scholarships, advising, and much more. On any given school day, students are working on homework, eating lunch, or meeting with friends before their next class in our student lounge. It is also known as the Coke Lounge because of the numerous vending machines available for use. That completes the first part of our tour. Now let's send it over to Allie for a tour of the rest of the building. Next up is the Triphase Tech Lab. Through professional connections, rigorous coursework, and hands-on learning, we have secured a long-standing national reputation for preparing expert and innovative entrepreneurs. National support of business leaders is provided through our advisory board, which keeps our curriculum relevant and ensures that we set up meaningful professional development opportunities for our students. Students are challenged to apply their classroom knowledge to real-world situations by their faculty mentors and industry partners. Logistics and Supply Chain Management Center for Excellence honors Ball State alumnus Kent C. Oz Nelson. The center is built on four key concepts, education, engagement, employment, and excellence. Students in our program are challenged to use critical thinking and to develop relevant skills. Real-world experiences are provided through site visits, case competitions, and internships. As stated by Ball State President Jeffrey Mearns, the center enhances faculty capability and student learning with resources and industry collaborations. Every professor has their own office where they host office hours. During office hours, students can get answers to any questions that they might have. The sales center includes conference rooms and a sales lab. Students can get involved outside of the classroom by joining the sales team, which participates in a range of national sales competitions, one being Ball State's regional sales competition, which is held every October. Students can also participate in the annual sales career fair. Now we are moving on to the Applied Technology building that houses our Applied Business majors. Let's go check it First out. First up is the Allegre restaurant. Our Allegre restaurant is a student-run restaurant operated by our hospitality and food management students. Students get hands-on experience working both front and back of house at a restaurant. Students, faculty, and visitors can stop by to enjoy breakfast and lunch options. Thanks to the generosity of Dean Widener, the Widener Center for Residential Property Management was created. The center includes interview rooms, a resource desk, and a public lobby. When Dean Widener gave a statement about the center, he said, my hope is that this gift will allow the university to further expand its course offerings and provide a hands-on classroom environment that attracts even more students. Next up are the apparel design studios, which include materials and textiles labs, as well as design studios. Students have access to collaborative workspaces, modern sewing equipment, mannequins, and labs for computer-aided design. The Lectra branding computers allow students to make and print out patterns. As stated by current student Catherine Cataldo, the two sewing labs containing economy level equipment have allowed me to learn new and essential skills. 
have driven me to become more creative in my designs and have inspired me to create complex, original garments. For our apparel design and fashion merchandising majors, there is the Mary Beeman Historic Clothing Collection. This collection houses over 4,000 pieces that date back to the 18th century. The collection allows students the opportunity to learn and be inspired by these historic and rare pieces. Located in Minna Trista, not too far from campus, is the Maplewood Mansion, a historic home that contains a learning lab which offers students immersive learning opportunities. The class setting is used by both residential property management and hospitality and food management programs. Thank you for joining us on our virtual tour of the labs and centers that make up the Miller College of Business. Chirp, chirp!